In this tutorial, I want to show you some uh, simple lighting techniques that you can use to give a nice uh, little fairy or fantasy look to your image. And right here I have an image, uh, which is a stock image I've grabbed from iStockPhoto.com. And I'm just going to add some maybe light spots to it, some bright lighting. And I'm going to show you some simple ways to do uh, some lighting effects. First, I'm going to create a blank layer above my base layer, and this will be one of my first lighting layers. So I'm going to rename it Glowing Lights. And on this layer, I'm just going to get my brush tool. Make sure white is my foreground color. And I'm going to right click and make sure my brush preset has a round brush of some sort. The hardness I'm going to bring down uh, pretty low. I could probably bring it all the way down and be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop my hardness down to zero. And now I have a, a little small round soft brush. And with that brush I'm just going to paint a little line. Now you'll see I've got a nice little glowing effect on this but it's a little bland and uh, I can use this to light with or to give some cool lighting effects but I want to find out how I can do that. So uh, I'll right click on that layer, select the blending options, and we're going to spice the painting abilities on this layer up a little bit by adding some layer blending effects. Now these effects will be added to anything you paint on this layer, so keep that in mind. First I'm going to add an outer glow, and by default it's set to uh, kind of a tungsten light sort of yellow glow, and I'm going to move it up and find a red color hit OK. I'm going to bring the size of it up just a bit to about 16 and the spread I'm going to run up to, uh, let's see, I'm going to go with 2. That's going to be fine. I'm going to drag the range back a little bit to about 36 and you'll see we're starting to create a nice red glow around the outside of our painted white line here. Now I'm going to go to Bevel and Emboss, and instantly when I click on this, it gives me an effect I don't really want. It takes one side of it, and it bevels it with black. And I do like the bevel, but I don't want the black. So I'm just going to go in here, and I'm going to leave all the other presets pretty much the way they are. Grab the black color, and I'm going to move it to a bluish color, similar to what's in the image itself. Hit OK. And I'm going to drop the opacity back a little bit on that. This just gives it a dimensionality. It gives it more of a 3D look. Uh, and I can add more to that if I want, make it bigger or smaller. Depends on the image I'm using. I'm going to hit OK now. And now that I have these options set, I'm just going to erase what I have here by choosing my eraser tool and painting that out with the eraser. I'm going to grab my brush again, shrink it down a little bit, and just make some dots around my image and you'll see that I'm getting my red halo on these dots that I created in the blending options again anything I paint on this layer I will get these same exact effects and I'm getting some cool kind of glowing red uh, dots with a white center I can use a Wacom tablet if you have a pen tablet of some sort uh, that is pressure sensitive with your brush and you can actually create some nice effects just by uh, using a lighter or a harder uh, pressure with your pen and the harder my pressure is uh, obviously the bigger that my light becomes and I can make some trailing light effects I can even sketch around my image and just create some almost electrical effects coming out from around my figure and dancing. And you'll see that's created some interesting stuff. You can probably tell from that uh, some techniques you could use uh, for making that even better. But I'm just going to go back with my brush tool and get rid of a lot of what I've done. And I'm going to show you a few other things that you could do as well to enhance the lighting. I'm going to leave that layer for right now just so I can see what I've already done and create a new layer. On this new layer, I'm going to change the blending mode for the layer to overlay. And while I'm in overlay, I'm going to paint with white. 
I'm going to again just use a soft edge brush and you'll notice that in overlay mode when I paint with white especially on this blue background I get almost a glowing appearance and I'm just going to add that glow in at key places whatever I don't like just hitting control Z and going back You can make your brush bigger or smaller and just create some glows and almost a painted light effect on, onto your image. And a few other techniques that I use pretty frequently are um, I will, for an additional style of glow, create a hard edge line. You can do that by right clicking, dragging the hardness of your brush all the way up and I'm gonna just make a shape of some sort oops I'm still in my overlay mode I'm gonna make a new layer for this to illustrate this technique so now I have a new layer I'm gonna paint with this hard edged round brush and after I do that I'm gonna duplicate that layer and I'm gonna go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and you can play with your radius here and see what you like but you can take the blur out and give kind of a glowing electrical effect to this as well and this is a alternative to using the blending modes now I do like to use the blending modes because what they do is allow me to keep painting and not have to go back and re-blur every time so I'm going to go in and just do a little bit different with the blending option this time same thing we did on the first layer I'm going to go in and I'm going to get this where I can see it and choose outer glow and I'm just going to give my outer glow the same color as my light itself and I'm gonna ramp up the size of it again and I'm gonna bring up the spread the range I'm gonna reduce or I'm, I'm sorry I'm gonna increase to about 64 hit OK now I have a nice glowing light bar and I can make just about whatever I want with that so now that I have this blending effect on there I can uh, paint light similar to what I did before and this is giving just a little more of an electrical feel to it and I can use again my pen to alternate the density of my brush strokes and the size of it and just give it kind of a almost a power sort of electricity look to my image and then you can obviously see how you could take that and improve on it for your purposes uh, but these are just a few techniques you can use for lighting creatively spicing up your image with some some brightness there's a lot of other things that you can do I encourage you to experiment with the blending modes uh, experiment with changing the opacity of your brush when you paint you can set to screen mode or to light mode and paint on colors uh, you can use some colored lights as well if you'd like 